What's going on guys, Antonio X Carter here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can quickly create your conversion goals or conversion action pixels within Google Ads. This is very easy. You need these, it's now necessary in order to run these with Google Ads. So in 2023, if you have not done this, you cannot run your ads. Stay tuned. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Emancipation Occupation here, helping you kick your nine to five jobs to the curb. If you're still working on it, then you need to continue to watch this video. So in this particular one, I'm trying to do this in under eight minutes, the whole thing. And what we're going to be going over is how to create a conversion goal or conversion pixel within Google Ads. This is now mandatory in order to run ads. No longer, you can still do something, you can still run ads without a campaign, but it's going to require you to create a, uh, a goal. And it, there's just no way around it. I've tried many different things. And I even shot a message over to the help desk and it was like, er, nope, not happening. So uh, whether you are doing ads for somebody else, which is something that I teach because you can easily make $1,000 per client, um, obviously, this is emancipation occupation. Gonna help you get freedom from your nine to five. As an agency, you can do that, or whether it is for your own business, that will be the, uh, I guess you could say, qualifications for this video. Now, enough of talking. Check it out. Let's get over to my screen. First thing you need is a Google Ads account, obviously. We're going to come over here to Tools and Settings. And then we're going to go to Conversions. As you will see, I have a number of them already. A lot of them I have not used in a while and some I just created. I have a photo booth business that I, um, I have up and running and I just created some conversion goals in there. So we are going to create, let's see what I have going on. I have another five day challenge coming up. So let's go ahead and create one for that. We're going to click new conversion action. And I want an action for my website. Uh, shoot, let's go over here to click funnels. I gotta grab the URL for this particular uh list to riches oh come on the name of my landing page Leverage your list i think this is the wrong one nope it's the correct one all right so we're just going to copy this url i'm still trying to remain under eight minutes guys boom so it's going to ask you for a domain name to scan it to see if there's any pixels on it. Obviously, I do not have one for this page. And there is a newer way so that your page could be automatically detected. But we're not going to do that. We're going to stick with the old school way of creating your own conversion pixels manually. Goal in action. In this case, I want to track whether people are just landing on the page, on a thank you page, because I'm not going to create two of them. On a thank you page, uh, once people submit their information and say, hey, I want to go to your five day challenge, you know, you could use a submit lead form or, or sign up right here. But I just simply want to track those who are landing on the page for the moment. At the beginning of my funnel, I'll say leverage your list five day challenge uh, page view and because I don't have a dollar value on it and it's just a landing page we don't want to use a value you would use a value if people are purchasing a product and then they hit the buy button it goes to the thank you page that person is now worth the amount of that product we want to track one, I don't want the same person landing on the same page and then firing my pixel at the same time. And because it is something free, I'm going to do the click through window of one week. Uh, it doesn't take 30 days for somebody to make a decision 
disappointing my the event or not. So we're going to hit done. And then we are going to hit save and continue. I'm going to hit see snippet event. I'm going to copy this. Highlighted, we have page load, not click. We want to keep that because we are not going off of when somebody clicks a button. This is useful when somebody has a phone number on a website and it is like a call only ad. So they would click that in order to make a phone call. You want to check that not just when people load on a page, but also when they click on that phone number to call you. So we will go back over here, edit the page. By the way, if you don't know anything about ClickFunnels, guys, phenomenal piece of software that allows me to make my web pages by the click of a button, literally. Uh, we'll drop the snippet code within the tracking header area. I do have a huge discount for ClickFunnels. That link is down below. I'll provide you some bonuses. Just check out the link below and uh, enjoy after that. All right, I'm at six minutes. So the tracking pixel for the page view is now on here. Let's go back. Oh, I did save, right? Perfect. Okay. Close. Done. And then we will come down to page view. We are going to test it. It says it's inactive. Let's go ahead and troubleshoot it to make sure that it is firing. We are going to put our URL here. That would create it up. Oh. Copy this whole thing. There we go, right here. Continue. Does it detect a pixel? And yes. Now, keep in mind, I already have a Google tag. I'll go into like the Google tag and stuff later, but you do that, you're good to go. And now you have your conversion tag going. And so every time somebody jumps on the page from a Google ad or anything other, any other place, Google will now be able to track those and count it as a page view. So I'm at nine minutes, 13 seconds, kind of goofed up there, but you know what? This is live. I'm not doing any edits. I'm just going to upload this bad boy because Google ads always change and all the platforms do all the time as well. So check my other videos out as well. Um, hope you learned a lot. Please don't forget to subscribe this to this channel. Um, I'll be uploading more stuff with Google ads uh, very soon. Drop some comments down below if this made sense or if you have any questions. I don't consider myself a pro or expert with Google ads, but I do consider myself pretty proficient. I use it pretty often. And so um, they always do up updates and changes and stuff. I'm not scared to show my mess ups, but also, if you're interested in um, somebody else doing your Google ads, give me a shout and click the link below. You can schedule a time to talk with me. I can see if it's something I can help you with or not. Uh, also, I have tons of free content with affiliate marketing, making money online, uh, my photo booth business, all of that. I have the links down below. So go ahead and check that out. All right, guys, you have a good one and we'll see you in the next video.